What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Jamika, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Now, before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and like it. And that will also let me know that you want more content like it. Also, share this video all across your social media platforms so we can get the word out there and we can help this channel grow. And lastly, hit that notification bell button down below. Make sure that you select the all option so you don't miss a single video or any content that I post and upload for you. Now, let's get right into the video. Let's go. 25 year old Kyle Cuero was born on December 18th, 1994, in Verona, New Jersey. He is currently a linebacker for the Seattle Dragons. And prior to that, he was the linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys between the years 2018 and 2019. But this year doesn't even look promising for Cuero either. And it's not just because of the pandemic, it's because, according to the XFL News Hub, the linebacker suffered a season ending injury and it handed another hit to the Seattle Dragons after the team lost to the Houston Roughnecks. Shout out to H-Town, my hometown. And it says that Cuero reported that he busted his collarbone during the Dragons game. Ooh. And that was recently because that article was written um, March 11, 2020. I do wish you a speedy recovery, my brother. However, while you're up there recovering, I'm going to need you to stay off of social media if you're going to be displaying so much disrespect, okay? If y'all don't know, he tried to come for Miss Jill Scott, okay? She wasn't doing nothing but minding her own precious business, and he tried to come for her. And for what? You at home recovering? You that bored? Sir, focus on you. He said people are attracted to Jill Scott and by no means is she ugly, but y'all really turned on by her, huh? So it's an energy thing. Okay, got it. And that's when football player Chad Johnson, aka Ocho Cinco, said attracted to is an understatement. I'd walk over a bed of six inch nails barefoot just to say hello in person, okay? And then Tory Lane said, you can't trust a man that don't find Jill Scott attractive. And when replying to a fan that left a comment under his statement, Tory said, I would definitely get into a long lasting entanglement with Jill, cuz was tripping. Y'all have got to chill with this whole entangled stuff. Jada then started something that she had no idea was going to take off. You know the internet is ignorant. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I digress. Moving on. Snoop Dogg also spoke out and said, We love you, Queen, at Miss Jill Scott. Always have and always will. First of all, what is wrong with Jill Scott? She's very beautiful. And she's very curvy. And all her curves are in all the right spots. She's very much like your, your most common, typical woman. Your average woman in America. Okay? So, what's wrong with her? I don't understand. Somebody let me know okay because i'm not seeing it she was heavier back in the day but then lost weight but whether heavy or slim jill scott has always been a beautiful person she's been beautiful on the inside and the out and always minding her business so why can't you mind your own business mr kyle Quero? huh you're supposed to be over there recovering minding your business so mind your business if you don't have nothing nice to say then don't take your little hands to twitter and say anything at all Period. Simple. Now, I understand that everybody has their own type, and that's perfectly fine. However, just because somebody is not appealing to your liking does not mean that you need to go out of your way to be rude or disrespectful. Period. Okay? Now, when Jill heard about this, she didn't do a nasty clap back. However, she took the opportunity of the attention that she was getting because of this negativity and turned it into something positive, refocusing the attention on what matters most, which is Black Lives Matter. She took to her Twitter and said, wait, I was trending again? Okay then, well justice for Breonna Taylor, justice for Alu Watson, Salu, sorry if I messed up her name you guys, and justice for Sandra Bland. She said, loving ourselves and each other is respectful and uplifting, supportive, eyes on the prize, love village, eyes on the prize. She kept it oh so classy, I love Miss Jill Scott from her music down to her positive energy. And after receiving a lot of negative backlash, Kyle took to his Twitter and said, I tried to explain my tweet after realizing how poorly it was worded and conveyed. I didn't grow up on Jill Scott, so it was news to me that she was a beautiful symbol. And I just tweeted, stupidly, it was best to just delete it and take my L. 
And I've also seen people equating my tweet to both fat shaming and a hatred of black women. With how prevalent that is, I can understand why people may feel that way, but that is not the case here. So pretty much in his uh, tweets, he wasn't taking really any uh, responsibility. He didn't give a real apology, even though in, uh, in all honesty, he would have been apologizing for something he really did mean. He just didn't know how popular she was and how uh, adored and loved and attractive she actually is to a lot of people. But you know now. Now, just a few hours ago, he took to his Twitter again to do a more elaborate actual apology, okay? Now, I'm going to read this to you, but before I do, I want to say this. He had mentioned earlier that he did not grow up on Jill Scott. That is irrelevant, sir. It doesn't matter if you know that person or not. To speak badly on somebody, so publicly especially, just because they are not aesthetically pleasing to your liking is rude cruel and disrespectful and that sir is the part where it's not okay okay now let me read y'all what he said just a couple of hours ago kyle cuero said this first and foremost i would like to apologize to miss jill scott the topic of your beauty should not have been shared over social media for public discourse there's truly no excuse or explanations to be made my comments were distasteful and unbecoming of a black man to speak negatively of a black woman under any circumstance second i would like to apologize to all of those who were also offended by my post i'm aware of the layers of hurt i peeled back with my words i had no intentions to make people feel less than but that's simply not good enough intention does not equate to impact i am aware of how much more important one's impact is than their intention knowing this i still offended a large number of people and for that i am deeply sorry I will strive to do better and I will utilize what platform I have to promote positivity and empowerment within our community, particularly for black women. Miss Jill Scott just did this so gracefully by taking my foolishness as an opportunity to shed more light on the injustices against Breonna Taylor and I hope to only follow in her footsteps. Sincerest apologies, Kyle Cuero. Now look. I don't know if the brother was really sincere or not, if somebody typed that up for him or not. However, regardless of the case, that is an apology. That is how y'all should do it when y'all giving these apologies, okay? And then, better yet, educate yourself on these circumstances and situations because hopefully you don't find yourself in this situation, okay, where you're getting dragged for saying something that you shouldn't say. Stop being insensitive. Think before you speak. Think that it could be your mother or your mother's friend, your grandmother, your sister, or your daughter, okay? Think about that, young black man. Just think about that. And one more thing, okay, we don't know how sincere or genuine people are when they apologize. However, God says to forgive because just like they are a sinner, you are too. Y'all just might sin in different ways, but it don't make one worse than the other, okay? So if that person's trying to educate themselves and repent from their bad behavior or insensitive, ignorant behavior, then forgive them and move on just like you would want anybody to do with you it may not be in regards to this particular circumstance that you were ignorant but you was ignorant about something in life trust me you were so just like you wanted to be educated and forgiven and move on from the situation please let this man and anybody who is putting out into the world that they are truly sorry or repentant Forgive them and move on. That's all I got to say. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation. Let me know your thoughts and opinions because I really want to know, okay? And I want to say that no, I'm not just sweeping it under the rug. I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm a biracial woman, but I still identify with being black. And believe it or not, because some people try to say, oh, you like complected, you like skin, you don't know how it feels. Maybe I don't to the certain degree or extent that darker complected women have dealt with things in life. However, I still have my injustices and my battles as well. That we ain't about to get into, but just know I understand, but I still forgive. Why? Because God said in order for him to forgive me for what I do, I got to forgive others too.
period anyways y'all i hope that y'all enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it as well as that will let me know that you want more content like it also subscribe to the channel down below and go ahead and share this video all across your social media platforms so that you can get the word out there and we can help this channel grow also make sure that you hit that notification bell button down below and make sure that you select the all option so you don't miss a single video that i upload and post for you guys and like i always say take care of yourself and each other i love y'all so much peace